Go, you're on. Light. This is not light, this is a drink. This is a protein drink. For all you athletes out there, man, protein is something you have to get used to, but it kind of grows on you. Light. Light in a dark world. The darker that it is, the more evidence that you are light. You know, Moses came down that mountain. He, the Bible said the skin of his face shone. It about scared people to death. And that's what happens with you sometimes, man. You, you show a light that people are afraid of. The world's afraid of us. No one, you know, I tell people when I talk to them, they get mad at me, and they'll say. Um, upset things you know about the way they blame I like look I know you have the right to be upset because what I am all about is the opposite of what you are give me a kiss baby see you later all right I love you have fun at church I will. what we are about is is against our grain you know it rubs them wrong in a lot of cases so and when it does, you know, we we uh, have a, a, a gritty disagreement. And sometimes, man, you have to inject some righteous, some righteous judgment. You have to inject some righteous judgment. That's John 7, 24. Judge a righteous judgment. Okay, that's evidence of light. What is more evidence of light? Evidence of light. Today, my my honey, she um, was sitting in a restaurant. We went to McDonald's to eat breakfast. We were sitting there, and this young girl came in. She was by herself, and she was sitting there counting her change, and she hadn't ordered yet, and. My honey was watching her, and I wasn't. I wasn't really paying attention. My honey was, and she. My honey said she started crying because she didn't have enough money to buy her food. Well, the Bible says Matthew twenty-five forty, right? Twenty-five forty. It says that whatsoever you have done unto the least of these. You have done also unto me. Those kind of things are evidence of light. So needless to my uh, to say, my honey, she took care of that situation. You know the best that we could, because sometimes we're limited in the things we can do. You know, I would love to supply the need. I'd love to, to fix the hurt of every person in the world. I'd love to. And sometimes you just don't have the ability to do that. But God expects, listen, the light that God sends out is he's speaking to the heart of all the people to go and do that good thing. And evidence of light is when you are listening to the Lord in doing that thing in which he has put in your heart. When you share the gospel, when you feel like sharing the gospel, that's evidence of light in you. When you feel like singing that song that has touched your heart and your life and other people's lives, that's evidence of light in you. When you, lady babe, when you do what it takes to meet another person's need, even though it hurts you sometimes, that's evidence of light that is in you. That's evidence. And many other such things like this. When you hold a group, a, a study group, and you continuously talk, when you build up, you know, when a preacher gets up and he begins to preach, and people's minds are everywhere. People's minds are everywhere on everything. And this preacher gathers their thoughts. Jesus used to do that. No man, the Bible said, no man has preached. No man has spoke like that man. 
I'd venture to say that maybe Christ and John the Baptist might have been the first people on the face of the planet for a long, for 400 years at least, preached the gospel message in the spirit of truth like they did. And since they had not heard it in all of their lives, they said, no man spake like this man. But when that pastor, preacher, evangelist, when he gathers the thoughts of those people into one mind and one accord, into a single beam of light, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And their minds are on Jesus. You know what? I've had the experience of doing that. And this is evidence of light in your life. Because, see, this light goes out, and it doesn't reflect off them on it this light actually gets into their heart you are feeling them when this light's coming down shining in you and and you collect it from heaven then it shines up just like um jesus said to peter flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you but my father which is in heaven that light that light he gathers the minds of those people and he begins to preach the gospel. I've, I've had little kids, man. I mean, little kids with their eyeballs. They're like this. But they can't believe such a thing is coming. You know? They just can't believe. I've had some two, three-year-olds. I've heard them say, you know, not be just because of me, but more than likely because of other folks, you know, that preach messages like that. They said, I want to be a preacher when I grow up. And I'm like, that man, this kid has been sitting in the presence of, of the Spirit of God. That's what it's like. This this is the light that gets in you. This is the light that spreads. This is God's filling station that fills you up. This is the evidence of light that is in you. Jesus said like this. He said, If your eye be dark, and I'm looking it up, it says, Then how dark is it? If the eye, I think he, okay, if the eye be dark, then how dark is it? I want Bible Hub, yeah. If the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If the eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? And see, that's what I'm talking about. You know, and every little thing that you do can pull you into this light, or it can pull you into this darkness. And you're continuously being filled or you're continuously being shunned into darkness or vice versa. And, or when um, in, in some of the day you're going toward the light, some of the day you're going toward the darkness. But whatever you fill yourself with, whatever you end, at the end fill yourself with, that's what you will have in you when it comes to the the place of, of being able to give it up. You know what? I've been into the place, man, where I've been so filled with this light. It just pours out. I mean, look, I look like one of those, a, a lighthouse. Jiminy Crickets, man. I mean, I shine something fierce. They got these blue light things that they put on your cars now, man. I'm telling you what, I bet you I look like a thousand of those blue lights. You know, I've been so filled. <laughs> and then there's been times in me when I would go to preach, man, it was like my light was just about gone out. I just couldn't preach. Hard. I had to muster up stuff. And then when I got to my very best point, when I got to my very best point, I was still dim during that particular sermon. You know what I mean? So be filled with light. Don't be, you know, don't be um, duped into thinking that, hey, you know, God's got my back. Samson shook himself. And he found out that his light was gone. Don't be like that. Fill yourself with light every day. Get in, in, in the presence of God's people. Get in the, where the Spirit is, man. Read the Word. Put on a video. Put on some music. 
be filled with his light. Already God bless. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time right here. Another great message. Crossing the Middle Ministry.